and let's get going. Take your legs nice and wide. Send your knees out over your toes. Draw your tummy muscles in and take your hands behind you and pull your shoulder blades back. Breathe in, lift your arms and slowly lower. Come all the way down and press your hands to your thighs. And do that again. Hands go behind, lift your chest. Breathe in, lift all the way up. Exhale down and press back. Let's turn the music up a bit. Hands go behind, lift your chest. Breathe in, slowly down and press back. Press your hands behind, squeeze your shoulders back. And breathe in, slowly lower. And hands back. Again, so next week, you need the same thing. And I'll do a different warm up. And press back. Good, hands go behind. Breathe. Push. All the way down. Now pause here. Take the arms out and bring your hands into the middle. Oh no, that's the wrong move. Hands to forearms. Come forward. Lift and drop into your legs. It's great that I can see you. It's fantastic. Forward and down into your legs. And down. Yes. Keep going. This is your beautiful shoulder and back warm up. Lift. Good. Keep going. Fantastic. Hands go back. Palms pressed together with chest open. Can you go a little deeper into your legs? Breathe in. Take the pressure off your legs. Exhale. Push all the way down and just press those knees out slightly. Hands go behind. Breathe in. Let go. Feel tension. Leave your body and your mind. Hands go back. Feel it lift. Good. Lower. And press. So bring the hands into the middle. And lift. Good. Into the middle. And lift. Yes. And then push off. Good. Into the center. Push off. Center. Push off. Great. Press. Center. Press. Perfect. Lift. Let's do one more. Good, I love it. And then sit. Hands go back. Lift your chest. Breathe in. And slowly lower. Feel that sense of calm. Hands go behind, open your chest. Breathe in. And slowly, gently lower. Press back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Climb. And breathe. Do you feel a little more settled? A little more familiar? Lift. And let go. 
Superb. Well done. So walk your feet in, heel toe. Shake out your legs. You might need a handy radiator or a chair. Bring your right foot forward and lift. Hands in the front of your shin. And then bring your nose down to your leg. Stretch your back. Round your spine. Get into the lower back and the mid back. And then climb up, hands underneath the knee. And push the leg forward. I'm going to flex my foot. Yes! You can put your heel on your chair if you want. Heel stretch. And then hug the knee again. Come forward, nose to knee. Hold it there. Good, lovely. Line up, hands underneath the thigh, open the left arm, of course, and then the right knee opens to the side. Hold. Find the ankle and the knee. Lines up with the hip. Again, take a moment, get your balance. And then start to take the leg round and the arm forward. Turn the palm up. Look at your palm. Now, test the stretch. Take the leg right back. Perfect, that would be an excellent photo. Let's do that. Tree pose on the other side. Left knee, left side, foot to calf. Or maybe a little higher. Hands in front of your chest. And pause for a moment. Good. Open your right arm and take your left hand under your left knee. Good. So we stretch the leg. Maybe you can hold the big toe. Pause. Perfect. Shake out your legs. Go back to the right leg. Might have done it slightly out of sequence. Hands on hips. Ankle on thigh. Push your bottom back. And tip forward. Feel the length of your spine. Then lift the arms to the ceiling. And open to the side. And some of you will be able to bring the fingers towards the floor. Good call. Oh, climb up, shake out the legs. Well done. Roll out the shoulders, make sure your legs are comfy. Now I'm going to pick up my right knee. Is that what we did last time? No, I think it was the other side. Hug the other knee and bring your nose to your knee. Round your upper back. Perfect. Feel that stretch run down your back. And then take the hands under the knee, pause, lift your chest, press the leg forward. Good, push the heel away. Good, you like my serpent legs? Okay, hug the knee and come forward, nose to knee. 
around the upper back, stretch down the spine, tuck the tailbone under a bit more, and bend the supporting knee. And climb up. Again, take your time, hold. Fantastic, shake out. Thank you. Roll shoulders and send that right knee to the right side. Bring the foot to the calf or the thigh and press your hands together. Good. Take the left arm out and the right hand under the right knee and straight. Straighten the leg. Maybe you can find your big toe. Perfect. Lovely. Well done. Yeah. And lower. Shake out. Left leg comes across. Place the ankle on the thigh and push your bottom down. Now you can either hold the hands on the hips or lift the arms into the air. Push your bottom even lower and feel the stretch. Open your arms to the side. Push the bottom down a little bit further, increase the strength. Try and bring your fingers to the floor. You move gently side to side. Feel in the hip. And then slowly bring the arms out to the side. I love this move. I love the expansion across the chest. Lift the arms to the ceiling. Good. And then stand up and shake out the legs. Lift the arms. Oh, stretch. That's good. That morning stretch. That's what we've been missing. Stretch up, keep going. So level one, stretch up to the ceiling. And level two, find your wrist and stretch. Good. Lovely. And then your forearms. A little bend in your knees and tip. Feel that in your waist. Oh, I do love this stretch. Take your time. Check your feet. Check your knees. Check your tummy muscles. Your breath. Check in with your smile. Now let's circle forward, round your upper back. Inhale at the top. And do it again. Breathe out. Circle. Inhale at the top. Good. Can you feel what's going on in your waist? As it opens and releases, Oh, that feels good. It almost takes my breath away. One more, both sides. Mobilize. And the other side. And then let the arms go. Notice the shoulders. Now you know this is my best bit. I love this bit. Just rock. With your eyes closed. I know some of you are probably on carpet, but that's okay. Feel your feet really snuggle on the floor. 
and pause and then shift right to left. Let your body find its true center of gravity. Let your mind find its true center. And then you pause. You feel a sense of your toes and you gently spread your toes. And you go back into your heels. And your knees are slightly bent. And your deep abdominal is in. And your shoulder blades pull back and your chest opens. And your neck is beautifully long. So you like to start by bringing your hands up in line with your shoulders and taking one arm up so the arm is in line with the ear or slightly beyond center and then push away. Okay, so I'm being very careful to keep my pelvis still to stop pushing my hips forward. And if you've got a mirror near you, see how far back you can take your arm and is it even? So are you able to take the arm as far back on one side as you are the other? Now add in the opposite knee. I'm not, I'm not there in person to remind you <laughs> but it's opposite. Good, yes, well done. Opposite. You're going to play the game. It's our favourite game. Close your eyes. Use your tummy muscles to help hold you. Keep your slow breath to help hold you. One more. Both sides. Pause. And this time lift the knee and open the knee to the side. Take the arms out. Pause for a second. Again, a little bend in the knee. Center. And rest. Inhale. Open. Forward. Rest. Shake out the legs, release the hips. What I'm going to do is lift the opposite arm and leg and press and slightly tip and then lower. Slightly tip forward and lower. A little bend in the front knee and slightly tip. Good. Slightly tip. Keep going. Can you feel the angle that you're working at? Push away. Two more each side. One more. And then this time, leave the front leg back. Hold. And bring the knee in and bring the opposite hand to the knee and drive. And again, hand to knee and drive. Hand to knee and drive. Good. This time I'm going to leave the arm and the leg extended and tip. And tip. And tip. One more. Pause. Fingers in line with heel. Stretch. Rest. Shake out. Let's do that on the other side. So opposite hand and leg. Bring the hand to the knee and press away. 
bring the hand to the opposite knee and press away. Hands to knee and stretch. You can feel and see that stretch. And again. Good. Now leave the arm and leg extended. Flex the foot and tip. And then climb up. And again, tip. And climb up. Three more. Two more. Lovely. Have some water, shake out. Let's do that with hand weights. So let's start facing the front. Hands in front and up. Hands in front and up. Good. Well done. And then the next level opposite knee and lower, opposite knee and lower, four more like that, lift and lower, lift and lower, so as you lift breathe out and lower, good, one more, And then I'm going to turn side on and I'm going to tip slightly forward and extend the leg. So the foot comes down and rather than coming forward with the leg, you're going backwards with the leg. So you're on a diagonal. Keep the arm in line with the ear. Push the leg away, that's good. Breathe. And the other side. One more. And this time I'm going to leave the front leg extended, the leg nearest me. Bring the hand, the opposite hand to the knee and press. Hand to knee and press. Hand to knee, press. Good, two more. Now leave the arm and the leg straight and tip. One. Breathe out. Two. Three, four, and five. Shake out. I'm going to swap sides. Start with the opposite arm and leg. Just do a couple of these. Press away. Push away. Use your breath. And then this time leave the front leg in the air, or the leg nearest me. Hand to knee and push away. One. Hand to knee, push away. Two. Hand to knee. Three. Four, and there's five. Tip forward, one. You're nearly there. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good. Well done. Shake out the legs, bring the hands to the middle, little bend in the knees, upright posture, and turn. Or we'll do like a little waist stretch. 
and a spine stretch. Good, so you're keeping your feet still, your knees bent, hips facing the front, and it's all in the waist. Good, helping that digestive system <laughs> move things through. One more, both sides. This is my happy place. <laughs> Bring your hands to the front of your thighs, bend your knees, and lower to the floor. Put the hand blades to one side, and roll the arms. And then round the other way. And then work on your hamstrings, either fingers to the floor or hands on knees. Bend and lengthen. Bend and lengthen. Bend and lengthen. I'll see if I can go lower and stretch. Drop your head. Keep going, two more. Now come onto your mat. Rest in the pose of a child. Hands go forward, bottom pushes back. Good time to have some water. And then come up onto your hands and knees. And bring your back knee to your, sorry, other way around, knee to opposite hand and sit back. Knee to opposite hand and sit back. Across and back. So as always, I want you to find the rhythm. Push your bottom back, climb up, and push forward. It's all about soothing, calming rhythm. Check your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Good. Two more both sides. Push. Push. Give me one more. Lovely. Both sides. That's John's favourite expression, isn't it? Both sides. <laughs> Sit back, arms go forward. I love that stretch across the back. Make your fingers go further forward, push your bottom further back. And here it is, making it a little bit harder, your level 58. Climb up onto your knees, watch your bottom doesn't lift. Hands underneath your shoulders, bring your knee across, and do the other side, and then sit back. Knees down, push back. So bring your shoulders over your hands, lift your knees, and push, and push, and lower. Lift your knees, push, push. Now because you're going steady and slow, because you're making a, a good decision whether to come up onto your knees or up on your toes. So you've done all those things so well, let's do five more. Shoulders over hands. Breathe. Breathe. And lower. Good. One on each side. So remember it's when the muscles 
are fatiguing, when everything's getting a little more tired, this is when your muscles have to change shape. This is when you grow in strength. So watch what you're doing with your head. Don't let your head drop. Keep your ear in line with your shoulder. Just one last one. You can do it on your knees, but give me one more. Push. And then rest. Turn through the wrists. Have some water. And lie down on your tummy. What I'd like you to do is lie down with your towel underneath your forehead, hands by your side. I can't lie down because you can't hear my voice. But I'd like you to lift your arms and lower. So unusually, I'd like your palms to turn up and push up. Good. Up. So keep your head rested on your towel, turn your palms up to the ceiling and just lift the arms off the floor and repeat, find the flow, find the flow. Now lift your chest, lift your chest as well, lift your chest, arms and lower, chest, arms and lower, lift. Good. Three more. Two more. And then come all the way down. Bring your hands under your forehead. Maybe bring your heels to your bum. Move both feet side to side. Good. I can see tootsies, which is really cute. <laughs> and just feel your lower back. Rest. Well done. Perfect. I'd like you to keep the front leg in the air, put the back foot on the floor. Now turn your hips into the floor and lift the front thigh off the floor. So my foot is nice and comfortable. You can flex it to make the work harder. Lift the front leg. Lift. So it would be better if you rested your head down on your hands. But I need to watch what you're doing. <laughs> and really drive your hip down into the floor. Good, squeeze your bum. Five more of those. Two more of those. And then bring the knee and the foot down. And again, just move the hips. You can bring both feet up if you wish. And then we'll do that on the other side. So the back foot lifts, the knee is down on the floor, the hip, most importantly, is down on the floor, and lift the thigh. So can you feel how much your bottom, your bum, has to do with this work? I was watching my uh, lovely husband do this the other day. He was doing it so fast that his whole body was moving. And I tried to gently advise him. <laughs> really? To, to keep still. He didn't go down very well. <laughs> Five more of these. Squeeze your bum, good, and then have some time to rest before we do the double. So move your hips side to side. 
Now to do the double, what I tend to do is take my knees slightly further apart than hip distance, heels together, feet flexed, and they come out in a bit of a, a diamond shape. I have to bring my head to the floor so I can concentrate. Squeeze your bum and lift. Squeeze the bum and lift. 10 of those. Squeeze the bum and lift. Now normally in class there is much hilarity with this one because sometimes the legs just don't lift off the floor. Five more, lift. Four more, lift. Three, two, oh, and rest. Heels to bum or feet to floor. Come back into the pose of a child when you're ready. Or oh, stretch out your back. Perfect. Good. Now you can start off with the band or the tights if you've got tights. You don't have to use the band if you haven't got one. It's not a problem. Put them over your feet. Your thumbs on top and sit nice and tall. Tummy muscles in, straight arms, halfway back. Then climb up, and I do love a hamstring stretch, you know that. So come forward and tip forward. Now I can go round, and that's more into my hamstrings, or I can do a long spine, and that's more into my back and hamstrings. Bend the knees, so take your time. Breathe out, hold at the bottom, look at your tummy, breathe in. Then slowly breathe out, push your heel away and come forward. I love that, I love the difference, the yin and the yang. The power, the deep abdominal power holding you here. And then the back of the body stretch. Good. Two more like that. See how far back you can go. And then push your heels away and come forward. One more time. Good. So we're going to try that without the band. Leave the band forward and do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to help counterweight my body by taking my arms parallel and then tipping forward. Climbing up, drop your shoulders, tummy in, roll back, climb up and tip forward. Keep going, hands in line with shoulders, Climb up and tip forward. One more. Back you go. And tip forward. How could we make this harder? Good idea. Level three. Hand weights. I love we can play with all our equipment because we're at home. <laughs> so hands in front. Pull the tummy in. Then climb up and use the hand weights to draw you forward. Up you climb, tuck the tailbone in, tuck the tailbone under, tummy muscles in, climb up and forward you go. Good, three more. Nice strong arms, tighten your tummy, climb up, forward you go. Again, tummy muscles tight. Good, well done. And one more time. Perfect. And this time, lower yourself all the way down to the floor. I'm going to have some water before I do that. Lie down, I'm going to keep my hand weights in my hands. Bend my knees, 
and roll down. Arms above you, hands in line with shoulders, bend knees, take one arm up, one arm down. One arm up, one arm down. So the hand goes right down beside your bum, lift one knee and tap and lift. Good, so we'll just try it with one leg. And then when you're comfortable, pause. Push your back down, raise the second leg. Release your back. Pull your tummy in, make sure you can see your big toes. And then off you go. Front arm and leg. And back arm and leg. Front arm and leg. Good. Keep going. Tummy muscles tight. Good. We're going to do four more both sides. So level one is just the arms. Level two is just one leg and both arms. And level three is both alternate legs and arms. One last one. Good. So bring the feet to the floor. Adjust your back. Open your arms to the side. I'm going to need more room. And circle your arms. Circle. Five, four, and round the other way. Five, four. And then raise the arms and raise the head. One and lower. Breathe out, raise the arms, raise the head, two. Push up. Breathe out. Lovely, now keep the arms open and circle. Feel that right across your pecs, your chest, and round the other way. And then lift the arms and raise the head. So five of each. Good. So let me hear you breathe out. Exhale, breathe out. Open your arms. Circle for five. Five one way. Feel that across your chest. And five the other. And raise the head, raise the arms. Breathe out. One. Good. Should we do two more of these? Yes, please, Adele. We really like these. You could do this with your heels off the floor and circle or with your knees in the air, just your back. And then raise the arms as you raise the head. Breathe out. Good, one last time. Give me those circles. Rest the head, circle round. Feel that across your chest. And round the other way. And for that last time, with your legs in the air if you can, lift your upper body. One. You breathe out. Two. Three. Four. And five. Great work. Bring the feet down, put the hand weights down and stretch. Push the legs away, the arms above you. Press. And the other side, press. 
Good. Bring the knees into your chest. Maybe if it feels good, nose to knees. And then find your band. And just go into some gentle stretches. Put the band on your front leg. So high in the air, slide the other leg away and really push the heel up to the ceiling. So if you've been doing your walk, your cardiovascular work outside, you've done walking or running, then your back of legs will get tighter and tighter. So we need this opposite stretch to release and hamstring stretch. Some of you I know are quite flexible, so raising your head, climbing up the band and see if you can get to your toes. See what you can do with this stretch. And whilst you're holding the band, flex and push the heel away. Flex and push. Good. Well done. Pause for a moment. Then lower your head and bring the opposite hand on the back and take the leg across. Feel that run down the side of your body. Then climb up and hold the band in the same hand as leg. Bend the supporting knee and take the leg wide and the bent knee wide. It's a really lovely inner thigh stretch. Just be with that for a moment, notice how it feels. I'm gonna lift and open the band and put the other leg in the band. Climb up, see if you can get to your toes, push the heel away. Pointing and flexing the foot. And then resting and taking the opposite hand on the band and the leg goes across your body. And lift, bend the supporting knee and take the leg wide. Stay with that stretch. Stay with that stretch. Well done. And when you're ready, bring both feet into the band. And rock gently, rock forward and back, forward and back, that's it. And when you've got enough power, enough comfort, get yourself right up onto your sit bones. Make yourself comfy. So what I really enjoy about these online classes is that time that you have right now to notice how you feel. So there's no distractions. Well, there probably are. <laughs> there's not quite as many. You don't have to rush off anywhere. You can just sit in a comfortable position or keep lying down on the floor. 
Bring your hands maybe comfortably onto your legs or maybe let them rest in your lap. And what I've really understood and learned about relaxation and meditation is that it has to work for you. You have to feel comfortable. So if you want to sit in a chair, if you want to put your back up against the wall, you want to put something under your knees, then please feel free. And the other thing is to, you can't stop thoughts coming into your mind. And don't try. But what you can do is let them go. I do a lot of work on this. And one of the things that I say to myself is stop, cancel, clear. And just notice how many times a day you say it. It is a habit. I promise it is just a habit. The way your mind wanders, the way we feel fearful and scared, and we go down that path, it's just programming, neural programming, past behavior. Come back, stop, cancel, clear. And notice how you feel now and make this your new program, your new way of being. Maybe you're going to spend this time in lockdown for meditation. Maybe this is something that you are going to investigate further. And meditation can be as simple as this. Doing a bit of exercise, stretching your muscles, and then coming into that space after exercise where you just feel a little bit more comfortable. Your thoughts are a little more comfortable, they're a little slower. Your body feels nicely stretched and eased. And you can just be with your body with your thoughts, with your breath. So let's do that now. Let's just breathe in through our nose and have a long breath out of your mouth. And again, breathe in. So imagine that you're breathing in mountain air and you're breathing out tension. Play a game. Play the visual game. Have a cartoon character that is tension in your body. And let that cartoon character evaporate. Your brain cannot distinguish between what is real and what is not. That's why we fall in love with movie stars. We think they're our best friends. So imagine that any stresses, any upsets in your mind or in your body, cartoon characters, and let them go. Bye. Don't need you. And now start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And go so much deeper. Imagine that you're sitting on a cloud. You're so fluffy. And you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And you take a moment to register how you feel. Maybe you've got a, a rainbow in the background, a cloud to sit on. Play. Enjoy. Let your imagination, this is where your creativity will come. So be with your body, be with your breath, and let go. Well done. Perfect. 
So exercising and then doing a gentle relaxation, a little meditation is the perfect combination. Your body is more open, your mind is a little more open, and combining the two is delicious. I love it. And I adore sharing it with you. So take a little moment to bring yourself into the room. Land your cloud. <laughs> Big breath in. Lift all the way up. And then bring your thumbs to your chest. So namaste. In India, it just means hello, good morning, good afternoon. It's a greeting, like how are you? In the yoga circle, it's from my soul to your soul, my higher self to your higher self. Thank you, angels. I'm going to open the chat box. I would appreciate your feedback, your comments. How was that, guys? Yeah, good. <laughs> 